Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official yeah. Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Yeah, nothing, Madel. Walk on. Hey, man, man. Hey, man, it's going down. Mm. You know, we're having a great time. Um, you know, um, hey, man, we've had the most extraordinary people to come through here. Yes, sir. But hey, we got one that's been here before. I mean, she's helped my brand. We met in other, you know, in another helped life. our brand. Yeah, yeah, in another <laughs> lifetime. You hear me? <laughs> another lifetime. It was a before lifetime, and it is our brand, baby. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Ring. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Check it, man. Hey, man. Tyana Michelle is in the building. What's going on? Hey, what's good? What's good? Hey so man, happy to be here, y'all. say you. Hey man, we just appreciate you for coming through, blessing the platform. Being that we have a history, it was only right that we bring you on. Oh yeah, most definitely. Because when the brand was doing the unique hustle thing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, you was here for us. Oh, How yeah. many years ago was that? That was in 2016. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. I'll be on it. Time <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering too. Was yeah, wondering. yeah, yeah. That was in 2016, nice. 2016, 2017, but mostly it, it, 2016. It was definitely 16. Yeah. 16. Yeah. And that's dope, man. And you've been singing a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Oh, yeah. We just appreciate you for, you know, always tapping in and checking on us, even if it was about the music or mm -hmm. if it was just about us pushing forward. And that's that's dope. Like, oh, I never yeah. picked up the phone and felt like I couldn't call you oh, yeah. or text you and you would respond. You're a dope person. Mm -hmm. I watched mm -hmm. you when you was out of the country. Mm -hmm. I seen you when you was doing Hey, man, thank you for serving and supporting our country. Thank you for your support. Man, you're doing your thing, even mm -hmm. on that aspect. You know, mm -hmm. for you to go out and, you know, put your life on the line and, and, and check out things for us, you know, mm -hmm. as a, a, a she's a, a, what are you in? Just tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> All right, I am in the Army National Guard. I have been since I was 17. Wow. Okay. Um, I've been How many singing years? since before then. So, what, we had 10 plus. 10 bit. plus. That's mm -hmm. dope. 10 plus years. You going to retire that day? Uh, at this point, if if music can kind of come in between, yeah. you know, I'll do that. But if not, then yeah. Man, yeah. I'm so proud kinda of you. Kind of plan A, plan B kind of thing. Got to mm -hmm. stay afloat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so, basically, how did you end up? Getting in the army, I, well, we'll go to the music first. What you say you did that earlier, right? What mm -hmm. did you want to be when you were a kid? Because did you always want to be in the army? Did you always want to sing when you were a young child? Um, I don't think I had time to think about it. I didn't, I didn't Why? have time, like, uh, I just kind of grew up. We traveled a lot, we moved a lot. Were your so, parents in the military too? Mm -mm, no. So why did you travel and move a lot? So initially, <clears throat> I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. Okay. We moved down here in 2001. My mom okay. and her five kids. Wow, your mom got five. Mm -hmm, I'm are the last the, of five. I was about to say, mm -hmm. you the baby I'm girl. The baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm brothers the baby. and sisters. Yes, two okay. brothers, two sisters, and then it's me. Okay. <laughs> so, um, as a child, you moved. So, how old were you when you moved down here? I was about eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. So at eight, eight years old, you didn't have, you say you didn't have any goals to, uh, this is what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. We so moved down here to Texas. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on at this point. You know, immediately my mom got us into church. Mm -hmm. So that's where I realized I could sing. Okay. I didn't know at first. I didn't really? until I got down here and I was like, oh, okay. And same thing with, what's, what's her name? Uh, Chi? Yeah, Chi Handy. Handy. Yeah, it's the same thing. You, you, you mimic kind of like people around you mm -hmm. so uh, initially i didn't know i could sing until i, I was like oh she can do that i could do that too okay, okay. Yeah. and that's that's basically and people were telling out. you that you had a good voice mm -hmm. yep oh okay. yeah oh yeah you had I any solos good. in church yeah i did i was uh in the soprano section so the highest one wow um, so you can really go up there mm -hmm. and i noticed i noticed that my voice was above everybody else's like I could hear that it made the sound complete, mm -hmm. so it's he he showed me very quickly. Were you able to do the riffs back in church? Yes. So you were yes. able to. do Yeah, okay. I didn't. It didn't take me too long. It just kind of came natural. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't wait to hear you. I'm already ready. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> so when you when you first got <clears throat> in the church. Um, you was singing and everything sounded good and family was looking at you and they was proud of you. You nervous? 
Oh, absolutely. I bet. Absolutely. I but you have to get past that shy. nervousness, right? Oh, yeah. It, and that took a while. Now, took that a while. takes a while. Mm-hmm. That takes a while. Um, in church, you let God use you. You know what I'm saying? You, you still be nervous, but mm-hmm. eventually you'll, you know, eventually get there. Mm-hmm. So. so when your mom and dad heard you sing for the first time, what did they say? Uh, my mom actually just reminded me of this maybe a week or two ago. I was in church, and it was a, it was a play. And I had to, I think I was Mary or something. I had the baby. What was the song? Uh, I really don't remember. But anyway, so I'm going down the aisle and I'm singing. And that was her first time really hearing me sing. And she, she was like, that's my baby? <laughs> what? That's, wow. Yeah, she was shocked. Had to be a great so you didn't even feeling. sing around the house or mm-hmm. nothing? You know, me and my sisters, we'll be little girl group, Together. TLC, you know, kind of thing. But mama probably not paying attention. It's five of us. Wow. <laughs> she, <liked laughs> she had to work. <laughs> Speaking of mama, she called me right now. <laughs> she wow. had to work. And but you had yeah. dad there too? No, no, my dad. He's still in New Orleans. My whole family is still out there. So, okay. was, but so you have a relationship that? with him? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. How was it growing up in a dysfunctional home with one parent? Um, it wasn't too bad. Watching my mama was... Kids. She was more than enough? More than enough. She was literally both parents in one. Wow. I could, I could say that. So wow. She held it down. Even if, even if we had times where we was low, it wouldn't feel like it because... She'll make enough. She'll make enough. Mm -hmm. Because you always hear the saying that a woman can't be a father to a child, Mm -hmm. um, whether it be a girl child or boy child. Um, A woman can only be a mother because there's certain things that a father will teach a child that a mother wouldn't be able to, you Mm -hmm. know, Um, and not even always just verbally. It's just by by walking. Mm -hmm. They look and see that's how a man is supposed to treat a woman. That is how a man. So when I'm as a female Mm -hmm. grow older, that's the type of man I need to find. You know what I mean? I think my mama probably replaced that with with the Lord. It's, it's, it's a different type of love. Hmm. I, I didn't find that in men or she didn't show me that. She didn't show, oh, you need this type of love or for this person to treat you right. All you need is him and he gonna, he gonna guide you where you're supposed to go. He, gonna, like he gonna bring the right person to you and, and all of that, so. I guess you heard that. <laughs> She's talking about God in here. <laughs> and you know me, I love God. So yeah. this is about to be interesting. <laughs> I mean, I the, love that answer, <clears> the fact that answer. faith has brought her thus far. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Faith, hope, and love. Yeah, that's what I'm talking And then she said that her mother had a different type of love. Hmm. It was almost as if she was just getting close to the fact that it was agape, unconditional love. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. the kind of godly love. That's how it's different. She said, I didn't see it expressed as a filial love, but an agape love, which a filial love is like a, a, a brother and cousin and sister. No, she said this was something on another level. Mm-hmm. Mama had an unconditional yes, agape love mm-hmm. for Tiana Michelle. For all her kids. Hey, it's going down, man. Him. That's what I'm talking about, man. And that's why she sang from her heart, because oh, yeah. she know God. Oh, and yeah. y'all better get a clue, because if you don't have God, you is lost you as lost. hell. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. If I did not know God and not have a real relationship with him, mm-hmm. I would feel empty in spots. Oh, yeah. And every time I felt empty, God would fill that spot up. Yeah, I'm not playing. Exactly. And they say, you preaching. Man, you better learn about God. Quit playing. Every time you say, I'm preaching, hmm. you really saying, I don't talk about God much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm checking you out. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't really, when you express God to me, you sound like you're preaching. No, this is life. Yeah. This is life. It is. So if you don't have it, what you expressed to me was that, that that's what held you and brought you through. Oh, yeah. And you know that's what brought you through. Absolutely. And when she said something that was so dope, she said, when we didn't have much, mama made it work. Mm-hmm. See, that's what God will do. Mm-hmm. He'll take a, and, and that's what creative black folks do too. We take a little <laughs> bit yep. and we spin it into enough. Yep. Man, this is dope, right? Yep. You're like, this dude is made for this, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> no, we're having a good time on Boss Talk 101, y'all. Hey, man, it's going down, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you check us out, man, on Spotify, podcasting. Make sure you're on uh, Google, Google, Stitcher, Stitcher, Apple, Apple, iHeart, podcasting. Y'all got to check us out on all platforms, platforms. man. It's going down, man, on Boss Talk 101. Oh, yeah. Man, that's why it sounds good like that. It got to be right when it gets in the (laughs) morning. It got to be right. And them cars and stuff. (laughs)
<laughs> Ain't nobody seeing nobody talking in them cars. It gotta be able to. You gotta be able to understand what's going down. Oh yeah, you gotta be able to connect. So be personal. When uh-huh. you get in your car and you like, I want to hear boss talk. You just push step button and put in boss uh-huh. talk, Apple Podcast, and bam. Boom. You gonna say, man, now come, man, now I am on there. Dang, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> so that's after church, work. when was the first time you said, "This is what I want to do professionally"? Oh, good question. Hmm. I think it was approached to me, actually. Um, when I did know I could sing, it was like, okay, cool, I know I could do this, but how do I get out there? How do I find a studio? How do I do all that? It was a uh, shout-out to Young Merck. He does not rap no more, I don't think, but he is a chef, and he's a, a damn Dope good chef. chef. Mm-hmm. So we can bring him on the show, and he can oh, cook. Yeah. He can Plus bring show. the burners, oh, yeah. and Go we can eat burners, taste right here. Mm-hmm. We need to get that boy on the show. Absolutely. We also got a, a, a is it a, a KLC son supposed to come to and bless us, and whenever that happens, I'm sure waiting mm-hmm. on it. I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah. So. But um, I went to school with him, and I ended up seeing him. He was working at Taco Bell. I'm in the car. My mama, we getting Taco Bell, and that's how we connected. Mm. Um, what's his name? One man producer, one of the first producers I ever worked with. Wow. Um, in Arlington. Wow. He, um, yeah, he, I think he wrote it for me and everything. I didn't know, you know, how to write songs, or I just knew that I could sing. Yeah. You know, okay. Kind yeah. of okay. thing. Shout so, out to that boy, man. So do you Thank write you. your own songs? I now? do. Present day, I do. Yes. Okay. She started off like you wanted, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. She said she didn't know because not everybody. I know a lot of artists that's been coming on say that's how they start. They start off writing first mm. and then, you know, go off in to rapping or singing, whether it be rapping at school because other kids be rapping and then or some start later on, whether it be in prison or mm-hmm. just just depends on where. Yeah. But everybody uses music for therapy mm-hmm. to channel all of those words, the th- thoughts, because we all think things, but never always say it so they Mm -hmm. use it to channel all the things they've been thinking that is true that is true um for me (laughs) writing um i had to be taught i didn't know how to write i didn't know how to structure a song i didn't Mm -hmm. know it was like a verse or a hook a verse a hook i didn't know any of that is there anything else other than that because i know that part but is there any other structure within that that to write a song? Uh, for me, yeah. Uh, topic. Like I don't want to go off topic. I want to, whatever topic I chose is what I'm going to stick with. Okay. The, the hook, once I lay that, that's it. Then then it's just the verse. So, so you lay your hook first? Depends. Just probably, yeah. Probably. Okay. Because that's depends. the hardest part, I would think, is to get the hook, a catchy hook. Because that's really what everybody hear. Everybody mm-hmm. hears hear the hook first before they hear the song isn't that correct mm-hmm. Cause that's the part that everybody will sing over or the and beat over. or the beat so like how he said his daughter hit the table and it, it he heard something that's kind of how i operate as well i okay. might say something wrong or sing it wrong but i heard a melody and that's how i got it so i'm gonna stick with whatever i just heard because it was off it was wrong but it was right wow okay so that's it works the same way the beat and the melody is how, do, how long does it take you to write a song now Um, not long if i have a topic not long if it's like a fresh beat and like the producer didn't name it or nothing it might take a minute well not really it don't take long (laughs) how long did it take you to learn how to write a song because i might start writing some songs now (laughs) it don't take long it don't take long once you get the structure once you you got to listen to the beat as well and the beat tells you when to come in first of all you got to pray and ask god to give you that gift (laughs) Now, you cook good. You do a lot of things good. Well, I have never tried to you write a song, so you don't know. All kind of stuff. So you don't know if I can or all, cannot. All I'm saying I've is never you, done you, maybe it. you can, but at the end of the day, God speaks to you in a still, small voice and say, you know what? You can do it. That's your thing. <laughs> and you kind of, you don't, you don't know it, but your body reacts to the fact. I just got to know you the structure. You understand what I'm Once saying? I know the structure, like he's, I'm he shows you your gift in mm-hmm. things that you bump up against. When she said she was in the choir, you didn't hear that. I didn't. You wasn't. I in, heard that. But part. when you when you, I was in the choir oh, too. Oh, but you didn't hear the song on a whole nother level when you when you sung it. I've heard you sing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this this here this here song. It, she said she made the song. She could tell it was her doing it. That's heavy. So I commend you for that. Yeah. And I would tell you how many you, verses you have to have in a song. Man, you can make one it song. Depends. It's a song <coughs> that uh, because like how many times does the hook have to come around? It's a song that uh, you it, it's, know. It's the beat. It's it's the beat. If listen, you ask me, it's the beat. 
It's some songs okay. out there that they don't have but one or two verses. Mm -hmm. It's all about what you want to do. It's really your passion and your heart that push through the waves to the people. Yeah, my, my song, New Boo, it has only two verses. See what I'm saying? It's only like a two minute. You're going to want to wish you had more of that song. Yeah. So Have you ever done a song like that? that um, that's all that came to you and you put it out. But in your mind, you're like, because I'm going to do a part two or part three to it. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly. Do you ever do that? That's what R. Kelly did with, with Trapped in the because Closet. Because it might not have came to you at that time, but you left it in a state where you could add on to it later on. Yeah, I have a lot of those in the vault, I'll say. As for what I have out now, probably not. Not, yeah. Probably not. Do you feel like you are uh, where you want to be with this music? Let's be real for a second. Absolutely not. So you, you feel like, do you feel, do you understand what's holding you back? Yes. Who is it? Me. Damn right it is. Now let's and keep what, going. why is it you and what is it about you that's holding you back? Various, various things. But I think mainly. Like what? Let it all mainly, out. Mainly, mainly I need that team. I need, I need somebody aside from myself. To do what? To do what? To help me market it, to help me become or come up with creative ideas. To, for me personally, to know me personally, you got to know that I overthink a little bit. You got to know that, you know what I'm saying? Just, just me. So if I could have somebody around me to to pick up that that slack or you know you need to change your thinking probably change your thinking because um don't always depend on other people because whenever you are talented because you are talented mm -hmm. and um people see you pushing and pushing hard and working hard without a team the team will come because mm -hmm. all of those right people will God will set them in the right places mm -hmm. to see you and approach you and say, hey, I need you on my team. You don't you know have what? to go search and, and, and that's anybody. another thing. I was going to get there, too. You know what I'm saying? It, like like I mentioned earlier, the little bit that I've done has gotten great attention. So I know that if I do put out more content, if I do push Did you hear me when I said earlier, more, content, oh, content over create? Content over, absolutely. Every day, push, push, push. Once yeah. I do that, exactly what you said is going to come it has it, to as change. it already has. But you, you know need to saying? change your thinking as in stop procrastinating. Stop mm -hmm. doubting yourself. Stop holding yourself back. Yeah. Because at, in the long run, just like I was telling a friend of mine before, in the long run, you don't ever want to look back on your life and say, you know what, I wish I did. I wish I, mm -hmm. I could have pushed harder. You see in the past where I could have done this differently. Mm -hmm. Don't, you know, don't. The worst you can hear is like no, or somebody didn't pick you up or whatever. But you you can't say you didn't try. Mm -hmm. So you gotta so try. So are you um <clears throat> are you gonna be deploying out in August? Are you gonna be around? Oh, I'll be here. August the twenty second, I believe, on that Sunday. I'm I'm doing about nine performances down in Deep Ellum. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you'll be you'll be one of those that is live band. I'm I'm. Oh, that's even yeah. better. So I'm gonna hook you up. That's that's how Big Dog do it. I appreciate. it. Yeah, he barking. <laughs> like that nigga, he, he ain't he really pull it together. Like he he yeah. If I'd have knew, you, you know, with, with what's going on with me right now, I'm just creating opportunity for people. Mm -hmm. um, a lot August of people. August twenty second. Yeah, yep. that's a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be during the day. It's gonna be from three. It's gonna be like a day fun all the way into like ten. So nice. I'll, I'll have you'll get to perform like three songs. Nice. And uh, with the live band, and I'm putting up the funds for it. Yeah, so yeah. Sorry. Shout out to me. Yeah, do shout out I to do, you for sure. I do boss talk one on one. <laughs> <laughs> bosses talk. Bow. Yeah, shout out to you. <laughs> oh, did you come up with something on that? I don't this think so. She didn't. She just found out about it right now. Teamwork, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I just I came up with that this morning. So I just I'm just I'm picking my people as I go, and you one of them. I appreciate that. And you, you and I wasn't one of them because I didn't know nothing didn't about know. it. So well, I, I just I was done it this I morning. I was excluded. No, no, no. You, you. I'm down with you. I'm gonna <laughs> cut that part. I don't care how you looking crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that part. So, <laughs> but don't, definitely, um, I want to try to put you on that roster. It'll mm -hmm. be. I just got to figure out. Uh, I'm going to try to talk to a couple more guys. I know a lot of people. I've yeah. been doing this. I do this. Okay. You know, so it's going to be dope to hear you sing down there. But right now, I want to hear that song that you sung in church. That one that you know that when you sing that song, it, it's something that you like. Mm. Something you like to sing. You got to love it. Okay. Let me think. Let her think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you put me on the spot with that one. Let's go. <laughs> you talking, we, we was talking about church, you know. Let's get it. Uh, let me see. What's that one song that everybody sing? Everybody. Amazing sing. Grace. No, let's not do that one. <laughs> that one's so simple. Mm. Are you really you talking that song for of nothing? Show? <laughs> you want to hear it? <laughs> uh, let me just let me see. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. That's, that's, that's it right there. Keep going. Give me a little more. Just a little, get just a little Come more. Come on, man. I was in the spirit right then. Go ahead. She just teasing somebody. Come on. See, that's what I've been doing my whole career. No just teasing weapon. everybody. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Sing it with me. Uh -uh. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. Boy, that's dope. <laughs> God will do what? God, come on. You gonna sing it with me? Yeah, I got you. Go. God will do what He said He will do. He will stand by His word. He will come through. I thought y'all was singing with me. Come on, man, that's dope, man. Y'all didn't even sing it, man. We loving the way you doing. No. I'm just trying to get there. Are you I'm know? trying to warm up. That song, to man, that's a dope song. That song, that's one of my favorite songs, man, mm -hmm. because that's the one you sing when things trying to come up against you, mm -hmm. and you know darn well it's the devil. It, all the time. Now, I didn't say darn. I said darn well. <laughs> you know it's the devil. You know darn well it's somebody trying to get, you know, use, trying to come up against what God has done in you to stop it from happening, man. That is mm -hmm. dope. Mm -hmm. That song right there gets me through. That one and Stand. Yeah, stand. that's another one by Donna McClurkin. Yeah. It gets you through. All that whole era. Mm -hmm. yeah, it wasn't something era. else. Because it wasn't just Stand. It was another mm -hmm. one that he said, we fall down, but yeah. we get up. Yep, that whole era. Still hit you. Hit you like it's day one, like it just mm -hmm. came out. And you cannot leave uh, Marvin Sapp out with your God alone. Oh, yeah. You heard that song? You are God. Alone. Man, I can make it through anything with that oh, right yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's certain ones. And then you have to think about Marvin Sapp. Mm -hmm. uh, not Marvin Sapp, but uh, uh, what's that boy named? The little short boy. Kirk Franklin? No, smoking off, folks. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah, smoking off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that boy with the big voice. Little you know, man when you say voice. short, is a whole bunch of short <laughs> it ones. Is. Yeah, but smoking, I, that Norfolk guy is the one. Mm -hmm. He got a big voice to be so little. I ain't, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's remarkable. Uh, he got a song called Dear God. Or, or, or God is able, mm -hmm. and and those are songs that get me through, mm -hmm. you know. And don't get me wrong, I might be cussing and fussing and cutting up one minute, but those songs right there will stabilize me. Oh yeah, y'all ain't ready. Oh. Y'all act like everybody perfect, mm -hmm. and I have no damn well I ain't mm -hmm. by myself. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? And Not that's the, when you when you know that is God that 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 brought you through all this stuff that you come through, and then you you sitting here and you own a store and you own mm -hmm. you own platforms that people wish they could do the things that you're doing. You travel in the cities that people oh, yeah. will never see. Mm -hmm. You you eating and doing things whenever you want to do it, driving around in the most fancy vehicles, and you still think that we don't know God is real. Hmm. To come from where I came from? Hmm. Stop playing, man. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole game. Like when you know, when you came over here before, you know, I was going through my thing, you know, certain things you go through phases in life. Oh yeah. It's part of people, the process. But God say, you know what? He meets you where you're at. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't matter where you're at. He can meet you. He said, hey, come on. You're still my son. Oh, yeah. The prodigal son, when he left, he still was the father's son. Yep. Didn't matter about him being in the hog pen. He was still his father's son. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's the way you got to be. You got to be connected and well-respected. Mm -hmm. Check me out now. <laughs> so let's talk about um, you growing up in Dallas, because that's really where you grew up at. Okay. You because you really at the age you left New Orleans you really can you you frequently visit down there, mm -hmm. but you are in a Dallas you in Arlington right. that's where you at coming right. up mm -hmm. yeah because you don't have a New Orleans accent at mm -hmm. all no. mm -hmm. Dallas Dallas no 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 so yeah I came here when I was eight so I'm very proper yeah prior to getting here I didn't have really good English I would yeah. probably say words wrong no no lie you if you 
listen to some people from New Orleans. You know, we say some things. Or Jamaica. Wrong. Shout out to Jamaica. <laughs> no, we don't. No. Yeah, they were patois you to speak death. They speak proper English. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But New Orleans definitely. Yeah. Um, you you know, um, when you got here, you 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 go to high school. What was it in high school that you done that stuck out to you that you remember from the ninth to the twelfth grade? Okay, well, I went to four different high schools. Okay, so what stuck yeah, out? Yeah, because you said you moved around a lot. Yeah, exactly. So I went to four different high schools. I do still play basketball as a hobby anyway. Okay, but I so you used to hoop. Yeah, I hooped the entire time. All four high schools. Um, that's really it. I was real quiet, real shy, real to myself. So it's yeah. kind of how school went for me. Yeah. You never did say why did you move around a lot. I understand moving from New Orleans to here, but once you got here, why were you moving around? So a lot? initially, when we moved down here, we was homeless. We didn't have nowhere to wow, go. Wow, that's we, dope. We stayed with my. You know why uh, I said that's dope? Because I know already that's going to build something. Oh yeah. When you go through something like this, I was homeless. I get excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, remember. Yeah. I remember the first day we made it to Texas. I believe we took the train. I remember hugging my grandma before we left. And I remember being on my my sister's dad's doorstep for at least 30 minutes to an hour waiting for him to get home kind of thing. So, yeah, it was plenty of times where, like I said, I'm by myself or my mom's by herself with all her kids. So, you know, it was times where we had to move because of whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, you was homeless when you first got here? Yeah. Yeah. How long did you guys stay homeless? I don't think it was too long. Um, Week? We, Two weeks? It was probably, we probably stayed with him maybe a month or two before okay. we got our own. Mm. Not even. We moved in with a, a church member. Okay. Uh, you know, church becomes family. Yeah, it so does. Yeah. Got a grandma out of there, so we moved yeah, in with my grandma, okay. my Texas grandma, you Already. Know, kind of thing. So we moved around a lot. That's just yeah. part of the process. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, so do when you, did when do you wh let me let me ask this okay. question? Um, when did when when did your mama get a, you know get her a job and you seen some progress at eight? I know at nine somebody came home. Uh, uh, it was something that stemmed uh, 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 some finance around that time. Uh, she started working for the the ISD school okay. district. Okay, so she's been there for a minute. She's still there. She's still there. No, she is still there. Go ahead. Do you think that um, moving around a lot as a young child play a part in your life? From now because I know people who when they're younger they moved around a lot mm -hmm. now they can't sit still as a grown adult they, <laughs> they they don't like sitting in one city or one place too long um yeah so I could I could say that I've been traveling my whole life so even after high school when I joined the military I'm still traveling so still to this day I'm traveling so I think it does. Yeah, because it's probably hard for you to stay s sit yeah. still. Yeah, and if I am sitting still, I'm ready to take a trip. I don't care if I'm just going to Houston for a little bit or to a lake house, anything. Mm -hmm. So you're right, yeah. And do you think that <laughs> that plays into your love life as well as in to settle down? Yes, yeah, yeah, for a very long time. Um, I tried not to get into a relationship because I knew that I would either deploy or I have to go away for six months at a time or something like that so music same way you know guys don't really handle the music industry very well mm -hmm. especially being pretty or you sound good or whatever right so, yeah that's why some people actually marry people who are in the industry mm -hmm. or being in the military people marry people in the military because they're more understanding with certain yeah. things do, do, what's the craziest thing that's happened when you've been dealing with these music ventures and you don't have to put a name on it but where where something went wrong because somebody tried to make a pass at you it happens all the time yeah. it happens all the time they'll, they'll i said the most you. crazy I don't know. It happens, it, happens all the so time. <laughs> it happens all the time. They'll hit you with, you know, oh man, you you sound good, you this, you that, and then all of a sudden it goes they somewhere in love else. with you. Well, how did you get in love with me? I didn't even do anything. I just I'm in here working. I'm in here just doing me and all of a sudden you want producers, more. Producers, producers. Producers, artists, you know. Okay, let me people that can't control themselves. Exactly. Let me flip that as well, because being a woman, period, you're gonna get that, right? Yeah. And um, I see it on the news all the time. I don't know if you can speak on it, but even in the military, being mm -hmm. in the military, um, you had that young lady who got killed mm -hmm. in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I hear that it happens a lot mm -hmm. in the military where people above you, males above you, you know, to try to pass their place and different things. How does that 
affect you or maybe someone else that you know, you don't have to call any names. What things have you seen that you're like, that shouldn't be happening? I know they're trying to ch- make some changes, mm-hmm. but. Okay, I look at the military like any other organization, like any other job. You are around these people 24-7, you know what I'm saying? They are regular individuals like everybody else. You can try to stop somebody from doing something, but you can't, ultimately. You know what I'm saying? Because they're their own individual kind of situation. Um, But you you, would think that the government should put things in place to protect you. They, You understand what I mean? (laughs) Because the government isn't like the regular organization that, uh, you know, the company out here, they, whatever they're supposed to. I mean, to. I'm not talking down on them, but they are. Because they are the regular. It's a, right. it's a big organization. Because you're, you're putting to, your life on, you know, mm-hmm. on the line for people. Mm-hmm. So they should put their, not life, they should but do more. they should do more. They should you. do more, but the way it's set up, in my opinion, you just have people that are for themselves or not even for themselves, just for the job. Mm-hmm. You have a more for the job aspect get the job done then for your people and making sure your people straight that makes sense and that's with everything that's not just the military i've seen it in several other jobs Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well you know um all i can say is you know you're gonna have to uh basically have some tough skin in anything that you get into because life has a way of looking you right dead in the eye and saying hi i'm life but how can you how you know can you I mean? conduct it yourself? Gonna, it ain't gonna. You be you. This, how you can be you. you conduct yourself? Example in the military versus you know in the music industry that this does not happen to you or that you can, it's gonna happen but so you don't succumb to certain situations so to say. It's nothing you can do. You just gotta go in, walk into every room, and be you. Mm. I don't I don't walk into a room and I don't be anybody else. If I'm not interested in you romantically, you're going to know. You're going to know if I am. So there's no, I'm not going to give you a vibe or anything that's not for thank you. you. Thank you. It's not for you. Because it's a lot of women that lead this stuff. Yeah, on. I'm not leading they, with my and, body. And, and I'm not right. leading with none of that. Yeah, I want to talk be, about that for here a minute. Before mm-hmm. you hit me anywhere yeah. else. Yeah, because that's what women do a lot of times. Mm-hmm. They play Especially the game. Especially these days. And then when it happened, they play like, oh, I'm the victim. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, if you'd have seen the way they was facading around, mm-hmm. then it pretty much called on that type of behavior. Absolutely. So, but don't you have some people who actually, as males, even although you give those signals, they still force themselves on that person? Yeah. Yeah, but you mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you put yourself in situations with people. If you stirring like she just said, and you're not showing them no kind of smiles or nothing like that, the same thing Kevin Samuels talk about how they frown all the time. Ain't nobody fit to be messing with you. You mm-hmm. do that. I think most of the time, women invite those, and I've talked to women that say that they knew exactly what they was doing when they done yep. it, and they knew they invited that into yep. their life. Absolutely. And that's what I hear a lot of. Mm-hmm. So, you know, at the end of the day, keep that strong. And as a woman, you'll stir. see it too. You'll see another mm-hmm. woman doing that. Like, exactly. You ain't got to push like that. Yeah, yeah, you doing you it. You ain't got to do that, girl, you know, kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, and so, that's that. you know, I, I just, I know it I know it go both ways. You mm-hmm. do have some obnoxious men out there, but you have some obnoxious women out there, and it's just, it's life. Yeah. They both riding the same car in the front seat, pushing on buttons, and oh, it ain't yeah. their damn car. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that really matched. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I, I just really know that that um, with people like you, um, I look at you and I look at what you came through for us coming up, being in a dysfunctional family, being homeless, going through the things you've been through and turning out to be the woman that you are today. Mm-hmm. I know that it only was God. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of them turn prostitute. Mm -hmm. A lot of them go out and do things where they got the body that you have. They don't join no military. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. They go straight up there and get the DGs and or wherever they go in the uh, uh, body, what they call it, pinups or one of these places. And they just, that's what they want to do. Yeah. And then they say, I didn't have another choice or I was victimized. I get it. But a lot of times it's something that you, in your heart, decide hey i want to do that i think a lot of people is just missing that main ingredient and and that's that relationship with christ boy once you have that relationship with christ you're gonna carry yourself differently you ain't gonna have no choice but to carry yourself differently wow so so how do you maintain that relationship with christ how do you make it stronger so you can deal with the problems that you face 
You have to read. You remain. Yeah, you remain in the word. No, no, no you have to you read. You stay in the word. Because if you don't stay in that word, <laughs> you stay in the you word. Are, you, you know what? When you, you when, that's right. Evil communication out. corrupts good manner. Mm -hmm. That's what the words say, and it is so true. If you get caught up in the all of the different things, the the conversations, the the different things that the that that depict evil. Mm -hmm. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Well, it's gonna get in you. Then you start to you start to do live out those things. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you know, I definitely know because I've been through it. Yeah, pick everybody has had their taste of dealing with it. Now some people can hide it better than others. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna tell the truth about it. Mm -hmm. But then there's ones some who 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 just say, you know what, I messed up. And then they try to fix it up. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and that's where we're supposed to be. Oh yeah. Supposed to try to make it better. So how's your how's your sisters? Cause they had all you got four sisters or four two, two brothers, sisters, two, two, two brothers, two, two, sisters, two sisters, two brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay, how how what happened? Let's talk. Let's break them down. Okay, let's break them down. My let's oldest brother, down. my oldest brother, he had also joined the military. He okay. just got out. I want to say maybe a year or two ago now. Oh, you know, he retired. Mm -hmm. so Shout he, out to your bro. What's his name? Byron. Byron. Shout out to Byron, Byron man. Byron, What's up, yeah. baby? <laughs> but I'm retired. Hey, I already know you're gonna double down on on your retirement, and you know. Uh, yeah, uh, your P what they call it when you when you're getting through with traumatic uh, PTSD. PTSD. <laughs> nigga, I know how y'all getting down. Don't play, nigga. Yeah. And then there's my sister Kiara. Well, Kiara, She's what's up with Kiara? Kiara, she got my three nieces. Okay. I have all nieces. Okay. No nephews, so she got three of them. It's four total, so she got three. Um, she actually just lost her husband wow. two years ago. How she losing car wreck? No, he he got killed in North Dallas. Oh, oh, this was a violent act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, got into it with somebody, and I don't really know the details. They didn't tell the detail. Yeah. So that was, that, was a I mean, push meeting for me. him. Was, uh, was he the type of dude? Was a street cat or? Was oh he? yeah, he was a hustler for okay, sure. For sure. Yeah, he was a hustler for sure. Yeah. Um, born and raised Oak Cliff. How the kids doing right now? They good. Okay, y'all yeah, right. trying to fill those gaps? Mm -hmm. No, you already familiar with that territory, being that your mother and had to go through what she went through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, God yeah. has a way of working it out all the time. So, the time. so, so, say, tell her to be strong, man. I sure. Uh, will. How, uh, uh, how old are the kids? Uh, we got twelve, eight, and and just turned four. Twelve, mm -hmm. eight, and four, yeah. man. That's that, that 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 that's it right there. Yeah. So what do you do? You go spend time with them all the time. Already, all the man. time. My my youngest niece, the one who lost her dad, she calls me all the time. Okay, you the so, favorite auntie. I am the favorite auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that other uh that that, that other one. What, what 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 the boy or the girl? Who we gonna go to next? Uh, siblings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then there's my other sister. That's my. She has my fourth niece. And she's like 10, 11, about the same age. But how, but, but, but how are they, the sisters? Um, so they, they were my example. I ain't talking down on them, you know what I'm saying? But I'm the last of five, so I can look up. I can see what they're doing, yeah, yeah. so I can know what not to do. Oh, okay. really? So okay. some of the things that they got into, cool. Some of them you're not cool with, you know. Right, right. But at the end of the day, everything's ordained of God. Exactly. Uh, the, 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 the way things fall out, it, it's already been written, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, but they're they're healthy. Oh yeah, everybody. They have good. nieces and mm -hmm. nephews. For no you. Nephews. any nephews? No nephews. No nephews. Okay. No nephews. So is is it is that the reason why you went to the military was because of your older brother? Yes, yes, and it was it was sudden. The decision was I'm in the car with my mama once again, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, and I told her I said, I'm gonna join the military. She said, That's "You out sure?" Of the blue. Out of the blue, it was no look into it, research, see if this is what I want to do. None of that. It was this is what I want to do, and that's what happened. And how long had your brother been in there at that time? I think maybe maybe a year or two. Okay. Maybe he had just kind of went off to training. So I graduated June. I'm 17. I left out in October, so I didn't have no time. Well, I told my daughter don't join it. <laughs> But she still went and, and she joined. went and did it. And I don't, I told not all my kids don't join it, don't mess with that stuff. It ain't for us. And um, next thing I know, she come back. She said, "I'm in it." I said, "Okay." I didn't get mad. I didn't say, "Hey, you wrong." I ain't no. You grown. Do it. Shout out to uh, <laughs> shout, yeah. Shout out to Chastity. <laughs> Days your name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do your thing. She been in there about what six, seven years. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Get down, then. Both of y'all get nice. on to it. Get on to it. You're Got to. <laughs> so, um, so what's your top three artists of all time? 
Dead you or Alive. There? Dead or Alive, straight up. Straight Let me up. see. Erica Badu. Boom, okay. Badu. For sure. She Badu. All That's the vibes. Hey, hey, Erica Badu. You heard that? <laughs> all the vibes. Number one. Number two. Let me see. Let me see. I actually had already thought of this, but I just lost everything. I like Kevin Gates. He's one Kevin of my Gates. favorite Boom. rappers. Boom, number two. Kevin Definitely Gates. Definitely one of my favorite rappers. Kevin Gates, you number two. And number three. Top three artists of all time. It's probably going to change once I get asked this question again, but I'm going to go with Jasmine Sullivan. Jasmine She's Sullivan. Then we get out of the day. On. She's Yesterday. been slept on. Like <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan. She's always been slept on. Already, man. I got I the her. voice. Sutherland. I love her. Got the look. Got the... She She got it. Okay. That's that's dope. I mean, you got your top three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you and that's what you're sticking with? That's what I'm sticking with. I'm going to stick with it. Man, so <laughs> no Michael Jackson, no Tupac. <laughs> no. So... My next question for you, not to go advise the younger you, but if you could come out of your head right now, mm -hmm. as in the person that you are, and this now is the more confident you speaking to the person who isn't, mm -hmm. what would you advise yourself to get you further ahead in your music career? Immediately tell myself, get out of your head. If I'm looking at myself right now, get out your head. Just do it. Just do it. Put the time in. You have the time. Make it work. Just like you do everything else, you go hard with your career, your work. Your, your, put that same effort right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. That's what I would tell myself. Wow. So you need to look in the mirror every morning every and morning tell yourself that. that. As soon as you wake up, first thing you do, after you pray, Mm -hmm. Is tell yourself that every morning, right now. Wow! So let let's let's get that that song that you that you was gonna sing for us. Yeah, I was gonna sing a song. Let me see. Yeah, one of your yeah. songs. Yeah, let's get it. I'm uh, excited. I would do one of the new ones. I'm gonna just do let's go. Netflix, which came out around the time Netflix. that I had met y'all too. Oh, it's already. called In the Air right now. So oh, I, really? got, I I couldn't pay Netflix at the time wow. to, to name it that, <laughs> so I had to change it <laughs> to In the Air. <laughs> Oh, let me see. <clears throat> when the lights go down, Netflix on, baby, you could choose a movie. Got your PJs on, OG gas and styrofoam, baby, we could make a movie. Let's chill the night away, we relaxing, we pooling. Let's chill the night away, we relaxing, we cooling. Somehow I fell into your arms. We connected. Just a little bit. Already, <laughs> man. <laughs> Say, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> man, y'all better stop playing, man. We got talent on Ball Star 101, man. For real? Yeah, man. Hey, man. We love you, man. Love you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. That, 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 and, that, and the way you keep dropping Christ on me. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you something. That's all you got to do. You can come back anytime. <laughs> You already could come back even when we wasn't there doing a podcast. But now, you know, cause we didn't really just get down into it. But oh, yeah. this God thing, man, it's oh, real yeah. with me. Like, I mean, I guess because I know where I've been and mm -hmm. I know what I came through. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's real with it's me. It's a presence. You can feel it. Yeah, I, yeah. You know you, you feel. Everybody yeah. know what feeling Come on is. now. Come on now. That when I knew what? that I could feel it, come I knew on now. it was real. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't deny it. Man, I'm I just felt not playing. It. <laughs> I, I felt it. I can't even. I, I can't even play with it. With because my music career, I may be going slow, but it's for me. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. set in a stone. I can't rush it. The 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 thing my career, my military career, what I be feeling like, oh, it's, it's blocking me from being more musically. No, it's not. It, I was supposed to go through this. I was supposed to have this mentality so that when I get in the position that I'm supposed to be, it's bliss. Yeah, I think you. I think you're doing it right. I mean, you're right where God would have you to be. You understand that? Oh yeah. And that's the important part. You know, um, great heart. Mm -hmm. um, you don't. You 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 make your own way. Yep. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Every ever since I seen you, I, I, I sense the ind independence in you, mm -hmm. and I like that. And when I watch your uh, like your Instagram and stuff. It's motivational. It's not negative. It's always something to where it's a vibe. Mm -hmm. It looks like somebody who's courageous and trying to figure things out, young but moving. Yeah. You know, yeah, down, yeah, you, you the that. one. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you just got to keep doing that. Yep. Um, you just got to keep pushing. And, you know, the music, you know, 
whatever God will have for you is for you. Like I told Dirk Bentley, mm -hmm. the country singer. Oh, yeah. Can't nobody take it away. It's yours. Nope. You, you understand where oh, I'm coming yeah. from? That's where my comfort comes so from. So you don't have to worry about it. Like you said, man, you can feel it. I can feel mm -hmm. it. Shout out to Charleston White that came on the channel and said, is this a Christian station? <laughs> oh, yeah, when God hits you, he'll you hit you no it. matter what. Is this, a, is this a Christian station? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I want you to, pe or, or, or to the guys that just left and say, you a preacher? Are you preaching? It's cool with me. Mm -hmm. I don't go by title because title and position don't guarantee productivity. Mm -hmm. So I go by, I don't go by tradition. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not that guy that's at the church house. No, I'm from the trenches. Mm -hmm. But it, there, ha, there are people that are from that era where they go to an auditorium. But I feel like God is everywhere. Oh yeah. So I feel like He's pretty. He, he's He's omnipotent. So at the end of the day, He's I'm not present. Mm -hmm. He can be anywhere and everywhere at the same time. He was in the room today. That's why they had to ask that question. <laughs> he oh, always there. I feel is. something. Oh, oh, are you yeah, preaching? yeah, yeah. You a preacher? Feel, yeah, yeah. They be doing you, it. You're making know. me feel some type of way How right now. Do they do that? <laughs> a lot. A lot. I'm because you. it's the word. You because I read it. and mm -hmm. I teach, and so it comes out a lot of times. Oh, and yeah. I don't trip. And then I you show the real. Oh on yeah. Top then, of that. Yeah. Then I'm, I'll be having a good time. Hello. Hello, somebody. So I just feel like that's the way. I feel like nobody. I can't just invite anybody to sit on this panel because oh, yeah. I know already that when I speak, I'm speaking from a place where mm -hmm. God has put me in this position. Yeah, so, you know, like I was saying, man, God is so real, man. And, and Tyana, you, you are one of the most uh, amazing individuals. Thank you. Um, you, you. Like I said, the thing I, I like about you is your, it's your humbleness, mm -hmm. your meekness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's nobody but God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I told him earlier to be ye perfect as I am perfect. <laughs> I came it. at him with uh, Matthew 5 and uh, I believe it's 48. And they was like, wow. Like, whoa, mm -hmm. whoa. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know that. You, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, it, the Bible said put on the mind of Christ. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you know the scripture, you already know that God is in you. So you are good. Exactly. And if you mess up, guess what? He still got you. Still got you. That's the good part. You Not know what I mean? Game. So when somebody I say, this, I can't mess up because every time I mess up, I'm like a cat that got nine lives. Yeah. Or I'm like a cat that they drop off the roof. Every time they drop them off the roof, keep falling on his feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all ain't ready? Good landing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, uh, yeah, that's dope, man. Hey, uh, love you so much, man. Anytime you want to come back on, tell people how they can get a hold of you. Oh, my Instagram. Look at that camera. Instagram. No? This, okay. Either one of them. Okay, all that right. That one got you too. Okay, well, look, <laughs> now watch this. <laughs> all right, y'all can follow me at Tiana underscore Michelle. It's T-I-Y-A-N-A -A underscore Michelle. The best place to, to find me is Instagram. Just keep me there. Already, man. Hey, man, love you so much. We be, we got a relationship, yeah. a long-term relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I like it, man. And like I said, um, can't wait till you see your live performance. Me and my wife are going to be set up there. Boss Talk will be there. We're sponsoring it. Okay. And uh, it's going down, man. So, right. um, like I said, it'll be uh, about nine other artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll it'll go, we think, in three years. I'll send you the flyer. Okay. It's being made right now. Okay. okay? And I have the address, everything, and you're going to get to show your stuff. I can't wait. Hey, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.